what we ought to pray. All right, guys, I'm going to share a testimony where prove that. You see, when the Holy Spirit attack to you, don't make no pastor, no apostle, nor nobody tell you otherwise. Because when I learned that mirrors were poor, tally, I wasn't taught in a church. It was taught to me by an experience. I was in a severe warfare. And I'm going to show you guys what happened. So, for example, I, in a vision, I saw a man holding a mirror. And I know the man. And it was as though, this is the mirror. He was trying to shine the mirror. So this is him, this is the mirror, and that is me. In the vision, that was exactly how we were positioned. It was as though I was behind him. And he held the mirror, and he was trying to shine it on both of us at the same time. And he kept, kept looking at it, trying to position it, and I saw it. Now, immediately when I woke up, the Holy Spirit told me that he's trying to trap your destiny. Because this time, I was going through a lot. I was... For those who follow me, I told you about sleeping on the streets and I was going through a lot, but nonetheless, I was viral. So the viral, the fact that I was viral was why the enemy was fighting me, right? So the Holy Spirit, there was a mirror on my wall, like a little, you know, mirror about this size. And out of nowhere, I've never heard of this. I've never seen this. It's my first time. And the Holy Spirit said, take the mirror down, pray and turn the mirror face down so i'm looking at the back of the mirror and when you finish praying you're going to decree and declare that anybody trying to trap you in a mirror you're going to use your foot and break the mirror from back way because remember the cardboard is on the back of the mirror so i went like this so i went like this in the mirror and the mirror completely broke and i decree and i declare anyone trying to trap me is sealed in that mirror Believe me when I tell you, it's a dangerous thing. It's called portals. When you watch the movie with Snow White, remember, I don't remember what's her name, the evil queen. She was a witch. And she would go to the mirror and say, mirror, mirror. She's speaking to entities. These are real. If you watch that man's testimony, I haven't watched all of his testimony. But I know some of the things that he's saying. He literally tells you that he can look in someone's eye. And drive them crazy because your eyes are the windows to your soul. Many a time I'm doing certain things and people think that I'm crazy. I don't care what people have to say. I be passing people before and the Holy Spirit t t told me to turn around. Don't let them. So each the more they come around me, my back should always be facing them. And they might be looking at me and saying, This girl must, but I don't care. Because the Holy Spirit, I never knew someone could look in your eye and drive you crazy. But I knew the Holy Spirit told me to not let, them, let, let that specific person look in my face. So when they were walking around me, I kept making a circle going right around. Pay attention. You might not know why the Lord uses the foolish things to confound the wise. People might think you're crazy because you're higher than a lot of them. You're, so the Lord is using you a little bit more supernatural than them. And your little carnal mind will think that you're crazy. But if you want to survive in this world, to to make it into your salvation on the correct side you have to trust the holy spirit nothing happens by chance hmm.